Lee, how you doing? For some reason, that last one uh, didn't seem to be working, so thanks if you tuned back in. Look, uh, the debate just ended. I'm here at a viewing party in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and I really want to talk about Hillary Clinton's Russia answer, uh, where when, when WikiLeaks came up, she pivoted to blaming Russia. This is really, I think, the most dangerous answer that she gave tonight, because what she said is blatantly untrue. So I'm going to try to break this down factually for you. First off, her statement that 17 intelligence agencies, this is a fallacy, by the way. It's called appeal to authority. Okay? So when you break it down as a, as a, in terms of formal logic, it's called appeal to authority. So the way the, the fallacy goes is, well, 17 intelligence agencies say this, right? And you see it in advertising all the time, you know. Four out of five dentists prefer chewing gum than whatever, right? So that that's interesting that she's claiming that 17 intelligence agencies are saying that. But A, we don't know if it's true. I don't, I've never heard 17. Second, you have to look at the content of their answers. Somebody sent me something during the debate. They said, well, they're clearly. I'm going to be real clear on this point. Guccifer 2 is the person behind the DNC hacks. Everyone knows that. That's completely acknowledged. I've chatted with Guccifer 2. This has nothing to do with that, though. I'm not asking you to take my word for something. I want you to look at the actual facts and what happened here. Guccifer 2 set up an account. He's got a Twitter account. You can go look at it right now. Just look for the Guccifer 2 account. He had a Word, uh, WordPress account where he was dropping this information. This happened around May, I think, May and June. I'll post this information later. He wasn't getting anyone to bite. Now, let's just stop right there. You don't have to know anything else. Why would the Russian government do that? They absolutely would not do anything like that. Let's go over what the Russian government would do if you were trying to do something, you know, trying to get information to WikiLeaks. You would get the information, you'd get the hack, then you'd quietly, behind the scenes, give the information to WikiLeaks, right? You'd give it to Assange, because Assange is a clear record, a 10-year record of not divulging sources and putting himself on the line to do that. So all, if Russia, if the Russian government were behind it, they would get the hack and then they would give it to Assange. And we wouldn't know anything about it because anything else that you do starts a trail where you can find out who actually did it. Do you understand what I'm saying? I want you to really think about this. Play it through like you're a foreign government hacking things. Now, what Hillary Clinton was saying, what she's equivocating, this is another logical fallacy you have to be aware of, that she's using. She's equivocating that the U.S. is under cyber attacks from Russia, which is true because every government cyber attacks every other government, with the WikiLeaks thing. Do you, do you see this? So she's saying, well, we know Russia's behind cyber attack. Yes, we do. And so is China, and so is Romania, and so is Cuba, and so is everybody. And we do it to other governments, too. We do it to other governments as well. You follow me? But the specific, she's using this to discredit WikiLeaks. By the way, retweet this. If you haven't retweeted this, this is really important, because I want you to understand the facts about her lie. Remember why she's doing it. She's doing it to attempt to discredit WikiLeaks. She's saying, well, you can't trust this. And then she pivots to, oh, well, a foreign government you know, is involved in our election. Why? Because they're putting out true emails. She admitted that she said that in the speech because she wanted to say, well, if you'd read the rest of the speech. So she's admitting that WikiLeaks is accurate. WikiLeaks pointed this out and I retweeted it. She's admitting that WikiLeaks is accurate, but then trying to pivot onto, well, Russia's behind it. And I'm going to say it again. Go look at the Guccifer account. This is what's so, you know, when, when she's up there on a stage and she says, 17 intelligence agencies say that, go read the reports. They don't offer one shred of proof. Now, by the way, why haven't they figured out who Guccifer 2 is yet? I'm going to give you the answer. Ready? They don't want to. They don't want to figure out who Guccifer 2 is. Because if they figure out who Guccifer 2 is, and it's some 400-pound guy like uh, Trump talked about the last debate, guess what? Hillary Clinton got up on a debate stage, live TV in front of everybody, and lied about Russia in a way that's very dangerous, while they're simultaneously pushing for war with Russia 
over their failed Syria policy, which I've talked about before, but I want to make it very clear. Don't take my word on this. Please retweet this. Please let people know. When you get into discussions with people, don't spout off on some theories. Just say to them, go look at Guccifer's account, go look at the WordPress account, and tell me if this looks like anything at all that a foreign government could do, would do. There was nothing that they would ever do. But she's just lying about it, and it's really, really, really dangerous. I mean, nuclear war dangerous. Jill Stein talked about this today. This is very dangerous, what she's doing. And it goes beyond whether you support Trump or not. But I, I want you to understand the desperate nature of the political establishment in this country, which Hillary Clinton represents, that they are willing to risk your life in order for her to win an election because they don't like that John Podesta's emails came out and they made her look bad. That is petty. I hope the American people sees this. The media is not going to tell people. This is why I keep saying to you stuff like retweet this, let people know. Because honestly, the American people aren't going to know. And quite frankly, you know, I, I here's what I can do at Breitbart. It's a great platform. I love writing for Breitbart. But I just submit stories. I don't get to decide if they go up. Not everything I write gets up. I don't get to decide if they get on the front page. But you can make a difference. Tell people to follow me. I will give you the straight dope on this stuff. I don't know everything. I don't know every issue. But you, if you believe that facts matter, I will keep giving you the facts for the next 20 days until this election. I'm going to be working as hard as I can for the next 20 days trying to win this election. I'm supposed to be out of my apartment. At the, my wife and I live in a condo. We're supposed to be out of our condo at the end of the month on the 31st. Our lease is up. I'm going to have to extend with my, out oh, are my landlord. Guess what? I'm going to be extending. I can't even move with this election. I don't want to waste the week before the election doing it. Again, facts matter. That's why I do these podcasts. That's why I write. If I say something, if I put something in Breitbart, you can bank on it. If I tell you something here, you can bank on it. Because I'm not asking you to take my word for anything. I'm asking you to do the research and look it up. And you can see for yourself. Hillary Clinton just lied to you in a very dangerous way tonight. And everybody needs to know about it. And quite frankly, it really is up to you. You need to share this stuff. You need to get the word out to people. I'll keep bringing you the facts. Please keep sharing them. Until next time, I love you guys. Take care. Bye.